What's up guys, Irish Turtle here. Welcome to my new map tutorial on Hereford Base. So we're gonna jump straight in. I'm gonna show you some drone spots, show you some attacking and defending, and you know hopefully you guys will learn a bit little bit of the basics about this map. Now I'm gonna do this video a bit differently from the first one. The main difference is gonna be that I'm gonna do it per room. So I'm gonna do like the basement first, I'm gonna show you attacking, defending, drone spots, then like the top floor attacking, defending, drone spots, and just sort of go through room by room. But first of all, I'm gonna do like the cameras and stuff first and I'm just gonna go like a whip round and I'll do all the exterior cameras all the interior cameras and then go room by room so hopefully that'll be a bit quicker hopefully you guys will enjoy that a bit more and you'll probably find a bit more use out of it than what I showed you previously okay guys so first of all I'm gonna show you the exterior camera spots now from what I'm aware there are only two on this map the first one is on the northeast side of the building if you're on top it's a fairly good spot or if you come out say of the parking lot or you're on the shooting range the camera is just here as you can see, it's just sort of like next to the spawn. Apparently I'm just being a crap shot today. <laughs> there we go, that's the camera done. I don't actually have the uh, notifications on, but that is a camera. You can tell from the way they look. And the other one is on the southwest side, all the way down here. And that's the two exterior cameras done. Now I'm going to show you from like the top of the house down because I figure that's easier and I'm already here so we're just going to go straight over here and straight down. Okay so camera number one just here at the top on the north side of the upper area in the main corridor. There are no more upstairs so that's your top area covered. Come down to the middle the next camera is located just here dead centre of the uh, centre corridor in the second floor. Coming down to the first floor, same deal again, dead centre, well no, it's not quite dead centre, it's a bit to the left, but a bit to the left if you're looking in rather, a bit to the right if you're looking this way obviously, but there it is. And we're going to just keep heading down, we're going to head down into the basement, and the last camera is located all the way in the back, just over here. So that's all the camera spots guys, and I'm going to show you some breaching tactics for the basement, some defence and drone spots for the basement, so we'll be back in just a moment. So first of all, we're going to go basement. So I'm, I figure I might as well do this in the drone route, drone phase. I'll just show you the spots, and then after that, I'll skip ahead until I'm actually down here, and I'll show you the methods. So one of the good ones up here. It's a fairly obvious spot for most drones nowadays, but it's one that works. Also, if you do up here, sort of behind this barricade, it's another good spot. And then if, if I don't keep falling off, <laughs> on top of there as well. And again, up here, basically anywhere high is preferable, because players don't tend to look up. And if you're really good, you can get across to here and have like a little poke point. All right, guys, so first of all, we're going to look at uh, section A here, or B rather, the armory. And we're going to do it as if I was defending, first of all. So first of all, if you want to defend here well, I'd suggest putting somebody here in the corner because you've got a fairly good cover point here and you can flick right if someone starts to come round and you're fairly well covered by this concrete wall. You want to make sure you trap door, you put a reinforce on this trap door up here because that is a normal breach point for most players. Obviously you want to reinforce all these walls if you're in a specific area where you have to be in here. Um, and then obviously if you've got these reinforced you can mute or bandit them as you see fit and sit here in the corner. Again you've got a fairly good coverage of the entire room and again it's just that flick across to cover the entire thing. And again, I'd say put someone down here, maybe peeking, so you can just see into the door in case someone comes towards it. And you can also get back into the room really quickly if you need to, in case, say, there's enemies coming. And also, if you've trapped all this properly, you can obviously watch out for thermite, and you've got a peek over these uh, shelves here. So again, that's a fairly good spot to use. That's the basic idea, guys. You can also hide someone down here if you're not doing, say, hostage, or you could hide them next to the hostage. And again, this little spot here. It's fairly good for a sweep of this area of the room here. Obviously, you've got no idea what's on your left, but if you've got a player down here as well, you should be sorted. Um, also, with this, you can also put like a shield up just here, and that should cover you, and you should be fine. Okay, so now we're going to move on to attacking it, as if I was coming in. So if I was going to attack this, first of all, I'd come into the basement from here. Also, you can use obviously use the stairs with a two-pronged attack, and the third player here as well, if this isn't a secure area, like a bomb site here. So then you've got three areas of attack to get into the main part of the basement. Obviously, then you want to watch out for players being here, outside of the zone, 
also here behind the barrels you've also got this ladder up here that you can use getting in from the red container side so you can drop down and obviously you've got multiple entrance points then what I'd suggest personally is if you've got a thermite because this is normally barricaded is you put one just here and then sometimes like you might want to put someone like putting a breaching charge on here but obviously you're risking getting hurt there because players can see your feet but you detonate and with that you've got a full coverage into the room you can get behind that box you can also get like where I suggested there and you can also flick across and get just behind the bomb there obviously this spot here is completely covered behind the uh, boxes but you know it's a trade-off you just deal with it as it comes uh, another method for breaching is a similar thing again it's to destroy as much enemy cover as possible so obviously as I said you're gonna have an enemy here so what I suggest doing is actually detonating this section of the wall here because that way you can actually just shoot through and hit him and obviously if you've got drones in you know exactly where to be looking and again if there's a player down here and you've drone spotted you just want to move your breaching charge to across here so those are the basics guys I, like, obviously I've shown you the drone spots at the start of the video those are the basic spots for breaching and defending also there's the use of the trapdoor at the top and you can fuse most of this floor I'm, th I'm thinking I think it's how it is so obviously if you want to attack this area you can just go to the floor above and place a fuse charge so next we're going to move on to A, which is the briefing room. Now obviously here's a bit more easy to defend and easy to attack. Obviously if you're in here, the reason for this is bombs, so you're going to have to split your defences back and forth between the two. What you want to do is you want to castle barricade this door, castle barricade this door, reinforce all of those walls, and then mute or band it as you see fit. And then defensive points you've got here in the back corner, because you've got a good coverage of the door and a good coverage of the wall. You're not going to get anyone shooting behind you or into your back. Another good one that I've seen is if you get down here, place a like deployable shield just here, facing towards here. You've got coverage to your right to shoot, and then you can also shoot like towards the door as well if you peek out from behind your shield. Um, my final spot for this room is here behind the table. Now again, obviously it's specific. You're just going back and forth. You're just sort of sweeping, and as long as you've got defences here, you're not going to get hit in the back. And if there's a thermite, you're going to know he's coming. Attacking wise not much really to say about this room obviously if you're trying to attack you don't want to be anywhere in here because normally the enemy are going to be sort of covering this room if you have swept and cleared it properly you can then come in here I'd say run straight round and breach one of these sections of the wall possibly the middle section because then you've still got cover either side to shoot or alternatively I'd say maybe like use this wall here if you first breach in through this side here so that's from the external side so if I show you quickly what I'm on about you go to the external here I'd say have a thermite, place it on this wall here, that takes you into the locker room, and then breach through here, and again you've got coverage so you're not going to be exposed to these rooms here, so you should be relatively safe if you're breaching there. Drone spot wise, in here there are many, I'm just going to quickly show you as if I just rolled in, one of them is on top of, ooh, can I do it, no, on top of that shelf there, cupboard, but again it's a quite a small room so it's fairly obvious what you're doing. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you can sort of get on top of there, but again, it's a hit and miss, so I've noticed for that one. And the other one is this shelf up here. Again, it's fairly possible to use, but personally, I never do. I usually just stick a drone on the floor and hope they don't shoot it in here, because it's it's such an awkward room. But other than that, guys, I'm pretty sure that is the fair favourite drone spots of mine. Also, I can't remember if you can do this or not. On the chairs, yes. And then you sort of flick around and you can see everything. So that's these two rooms down here done, guys. I'm going to come back and we're going to do the next floor up. Okay, guys, so first of all, we're going to look at kitchen. So my drone is currently in here. It's actually one of my favourite spots. But if you're going to come into kitchen, obviously, you'd come through the front door. You'd roll in here as quick as you possibly can to not get mute charged or banned it. And then you can get onto this cupboard. If you're better than me at driving, because clearly I'm not. <laughs> Uh, but obviously, yeah, you want to jump up here, and again, it's one of those things where it can be awkward to get on top, but it's a fairly good location, but it is really obvious. The other one is the fridge. Again, sort of obvious, but if you don't keep spotting them, sort of back off right here to the corner, and if you just move it as you need when you see fit, it's fairly good. Uh, another one that was useful that I used was behind this sandbag here, because not only do you get to peek there, but you can also see there and lean across and pull back so it's another sort of good hiding spot for your drone 
fairly hard to see for the enemy, and it's, you know, it's not a bad idea. Alright guys, so we're here. Right, so now we're in the kitchen, I'm going to talk to you guys about a quick bit of defensive options. First of all, what I'd suggest doing if you're defending, if you're in a hostage situation, is to barricade every single one of these walls if you can. Each of you get two, there are five of you, so that's a total of ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right, it should be enough. Ten if you, ten when you need to barricade up top. So realistically, if all of you are barricading and doing your job, you should be somewhat covered. If you have to leave one wall open, I suggest this one here, as it's rarely ever used unless they've got an ash to attack from. So now, where you place yourself as a defender. So right here, put yourself up a deployable shield right here, and then lay down and cover the bottom of the door. Also, you can then watch for any breaches. Provided they've not got a thatcher, if you've muted or banned any of these walls, they should be safe. These are the walls that I would suggest muting and banditing because you're going to have to force them to come from this side or this side. And those are the preferred options because over here it's just awkward to try and shoot with the rest of the room. My next placement of defenders would be here because again you've got a good coverage there and if you need to peek you can peek the door. And then my third spot is just here behind the uh, stove. And again it's a case of you've got the door, you can peek the main door if need be. And also if you, they do breach from that wall over there you have got coverage of it as well. And then finally, if you've reinforced this wall, have someone lying down sort of just here behind this table. Obviously, if you want, you could sort of just knock through it. Oh no, you can't, the sandbags. <laughs> it's my fault. Uh, but obviously, the sandbags are going to give you some protection. Um, <laughs> and again, you've got coverage of the door. You can see underneath if they come through that container. And you've also got coverage of the main stairs over here. And again, it's underneath, so you can see if they're planting. So now we're going to move on to attack. Now this is something that I prefer to do for this area because I hate defending that room. My first suggestion would be coming into this red container. Also actually if you're defending, putting somebody here, not a bad idea because people come through that window quite quickly and as long as you're leaning so they can't see you just spray as they come in and they're dead. But let's say you're an attacker, you've come in, you've swept left, there's nobody there. You've got ash, ash is really good because you can either blow that wall open or that wall open depending on the defences and if they've reinforced them. And then you've got good shots into the room, obviously you can't get in but it's a fairly good spot to use. I'd suggest breaching this wall if you can because it's more difficult for the enemy to shoot you from. If you can't, well, because obviously like I said, see here you get this room here, you get good coverage into the room. If you can't breach there I suggest running straight across and doing this far left corner because you get a good sight line from outside of the room and you can sort of peek across slowly work your way around, shoot that corner, come back shoot behind the fridge and then the final one normally you can just quickly come across the uh, stove if you get like a three pronged attack you're fairly good, get one from the roof one from that wall, one from that wall most players don't expect it and it's a fairly good attack system so that's basics of defending, attacking and droning this room so now we're going to move straight across the hallway over to the dining room. Now this is one that I actually find can work really well if you've got a good team. First of all, obviously reinforce everything in here including the trap door. Watch for fuse as this entire floor is completely fusible as is this one but normally if you're in these rooms generally speaking I found it's hostage but we're gonna move on now so obviously defending points in this room first of all actually no, drone points. <laughs> Just gonna move my drone across we're going to talk about drone points. Now, this room, I don't tend to use sneaky spots as much because I find it's too small to really get away with them. But one of them is if you put them up here, sort of dead centre. Oh, I've got to move back just enough. There we go. You can get up here, and it's a fairly good spot. Obviously, if you're coming in from this side, you come in from the east side, it's dead centre. That's your drone spot in. And then you sort of jump straight up. And then as soon as you can jump again, jump jump straight up. Uh, another good spot is right at the back here. You jump onto there, onto there, and you've got a fairly good spot right next to the uh, flashlight. So that's another good spot, covers most of the room. And my final spot is normally, if I'm playing here, is right here in this, in this little cupboard. But again, you sort of get spotted quite often. Sometimes you can get away with putting your drone under this table right here, so it's fairly well protected and you can just sort of peek out. Now defending this room, so we're looking at this, it's a fairly easy room to defend, I like to stick somebody up here, if you reinforce that you should be fine and you can just sort of sweep the entire room and people rarely ever actually look up here. Your next option is to put someone down here, again you've got the two doors and if they start to thermite this one you've got a peak point round. 
the next one is down here, but you want to watch out for people shooting through this little drone hole. So, I'd say if you know they're all internal, then get here. If they're all outside, I'd say maybe wait and don't use that spot. If you've reinforced here, it's not a bad spot, but they can shoot through the door at you. So I'd say maybe go here instead, because again, you've got a good coverage of the stairs in case they break breach there. You can cover the back section and also this entire wall if you need to flick around. So that's how I'd defend this. If I was going to attack it, obviously there are lots of breach points for there. I'd say stick somebody upstairs with a thermite charge, obviously if they've reinforced. If not, just head back round here to the south side, keep going. I'd say thermite this wall here every time. Because you can't hit the hostage, you can't like shoot the hostage. So your teammates aren't going to kill the hostage and you should be alright. So obviously you just sweep in and just shoot as normal. Obviously you're going to be looking for here, up here. But then you've got this wall covering you from anyone over this section of the room. So that's a fairly good attack point. And obviously you can just sort of sweep across as you go in. If you want to sort of negate this with another another attacker, obviously you can stick a breach here if you can, or get thermite to then run round and send another guy in. Breach that wall, and then you've got a good shot across here. And again, if you really want to overkill it, I'd say maybe have a third attacker here, but you want two on two on these two sides, really. And then have a third attack, like your fifth attacker here. So that's pretty much all of the bottom section done. There are a couple of other ones. Down here is a, one of the bomb rooms sometimes. Now, if you want to defend this, I'd suggest just pretty much reinforcing most of these walls. Stick yourself down here, sort of behind this chair. It's not bulletproof, but you've got good coverage of the two entry points. And provided you've re reinforced this well enough, you're not going to get attacked. Also, same principle, go here on the side. Obviously, you want to reinforce this because Ash will hit you. But if you're smart enough, you're not going to get hit anyway. And your final option is behind this desk because, again, window coverage and door. And if they're shooting from the window, they can't actually hit you here. So that's a fairly good point. Attacking wise, I'd say always try and breach from the door or from the back wall on this one because they're always focusing this window here. So your realistic choice would be back here. I have placed that wrong. <laughs> your realistic choice is you want to sort of have it so you can see it in the room from another one. So here, place here. Breach, get, the get back. And then again, you've got a fairly good coverage into the basics of where they're going to be hiding. And you should be able to cover the room. Drone spot wise, don't think there's much in here that's in the way of useful. There are a couple of spots here and there. But again, normally they don't stick many defenders in here, I'd say. Top of this cupboard. Behind these books if you can. I appear to have got it stuck, but yeah. That's a fairly good one behind the books. Alrighty, so now we're looking at the kids' bedroom. This is a fairly easy one to drone. There's not a couple many spots. First of all, go up here and then jump across. If you've got enough speed, you can do it. Obviously, it's one of those things where you need to get your timing bang on. But it's doable. So now obviously, you've got a full coverage. Another good spot actually in the uh, playhouse underneath. You've got a good spot here. Good spot here good spot here. As long as you don't get shot in the back of the uh, drone, you should be fine. Uh, next one is on top of the bunk beds, because who doesn't love bunk beds? Again, it's fairly exposed, but it's not a bad spot. So I hide next to this sandbag. Should be alright. You get a good coverage of the room. And, and then across to this table here. Again, same principle. Fairly easy to see, but it's a good defence point. So now we're going to move on to defending this room. A good defensive point is to obviously reinforce every wall. Someone down here, covering there. That way you can't get shot from the window. Possibly put in somebody here. Again, you want to reinforce this or just stand away from it. And then again, you can just shoot. And another point in here, I'd say, is actually, to be fair, you don't normally want to split your players for this one. Because this is normally only used for bomb. So you only want two people in here, and those are your two best spots for it, realistically. Attacking, I'd suggest, uh, what I did first of all, was I came from the west side of the building. I've reached through this window here. I then come through, very carefully checking your corners, obviously, as you always do. Come in here. You'd sweep left, and obviously, as you're sweeping in, you'd, you'd be able to see underneath the door. You could sort of see one there, and then come across and sweep there. Sometimes they hide at the back, but normally if you're breaching from the window as well at the same time, or just a couple of seconds before, they'll normally focus this window as opposed to focusing the door. 
Now we move on to the master bedroom. So I'll just bring my drone across. Now this room for hiding your drone, not my favourite. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you can get it in this gap. It's a bit finicky, but that's not a bad spot if you can glitch it in. Uh, another spot is, of course, on the shelf. Behind the radios, preferably. And then you can just sort of poke as you need be. Uh, next one is behind here. That's normally a good spot. Obviously not on top, because that's obvious. But if you get behind, sort of put your drone in this little gap. And then poke out as you need him, when you need him. And uh, that's pretty much it for this room. Sometimes I might put them in a separate room over here in the TV and just sort of have it poking in so you can see in. People rarely ever check the TV. It's a fairly good spot and you can sort of muck about in there. So that's, that's my suggestion for drone spots. Defending wise, obviously you want to reinforce everything as per normal. Somebody here, if it's all muted and banded, because you've got a good flick again across the room. You only want to watch out for that, but if you've got a castle, that should be barricaded anyway. Uh, next, I'd then say place someone behind this desk. This desk is amazing. It's bulletproof. It's really good. You can spray across, and obviously if someone attacks from there, lay down, spray their feet, kill them. Uh, the next spot is one of the more difficult ones to pick. You could lay someone down behind the bed and sort of cover there, because you're not going to get shot too much in the back. The alternative option is to stick somebody here, so they can cover this door but also cover into the room and just leave this door exposed, but then you're going to have to castle that, otherwise you'll get enemies shooting in. And then sometimes, if you want to really rock the boat a bit, you can obviously stick somebody in here, reinforce this wall instead of that one, and uh, have them sort of hiding down here, next to the sink, and you've got a good coverage in the room. Attacking-wise, same principle as before, I'd breach through there, I'd then come across to this wall, Possibly also stick somebody on this wall. Breach simultaneously. And obviously you've got a good coverage of here. This is normally be a thermite wall. And then obviously you can sweep across. If you've got someone breaching in from this side, if they've opened this wall and this is all barricaded, you've then got a third attack point. Then you can get someone to breach from that one. Someone to run round and come from that door. Someone to come from here and you've got good angles of fire. Alternatively is you can have someone here. Same principle again, good angles of fire into the room. And then the last thing you need to check whenever you're in here is behind this desk. Always a guy here. Always without fail. And that's pretty much this room sorted. Alright guys, so here we are upstairs. We're going to look at the first room, which is storage. Now this room for drone is... It's not bad. If you get your drone up here onto this little table, you can actually jump him across to up here. Fairly a good little spot. No one ever really looks up here. And you've got good coverage of the room. Alternatively, you can also jump him across. Hide him in this little gap. And again, just peek and back. And they can't actually hit you behind here, so you should be alright. It's a peak and back. It's a good spot. Uh, ooh, got stuck. Another good spot behind that TV. Um, alternatively, you can stick a drone. Let's see if I can do this because I normally miss this. Way up here. Nope. Okay, it's good. Some. Alternatively, this shelf here. But again, you're obvious. You destroy the box. You make a lot of noise. They know you're there. And that's pretty much it. Defense-wise, for this room. As always, reinforce, mute, bandit. I'd say castle is a relatively good idea for this room because there's so many shooting in points. I'd say castle that one and definitely castle that one because then you've sort of got a point where you can cover that wall. If that explodes, you know you can just run across back into the centre of the room. And again, if this explodes, you know that if you're here, this will explode or get destroyed. You're going to want to move as quick as you can to sort of cover it and obviously making sure there's no enemies there. Attack in this room, fairly simple. Come up the stairs, breach and charge there. Same principle, run straight across into this room here, breach and charge there. And the enemy on the external window, again, breach or whatever you've got. All simultaneous at once, completely spooks the entire room out. And from here, if you've breached this corner here, which is where you, I suggest you do it, you can shoot into here. If you breach just here, sorry, just here on the far side, the last one, you can then actually shoot this guy who's normally right here. This is normally a good defensive point actually that I missed. Because you've got coverage from there. You can't be shot from there. You can't be shot from there. But you normally if they breach there, they've got a good coverage of you. And then the last breach I would suggest personally is to have this one here because then you've got this guy here sorted as well. That's a three time breach so you, you sort it on all angles. So that completely covers the room. And for the final room, we're going to look at workshop. So this room again is 
It's fairly difficult for drones. I mean, there's not many places. Behind here, if you get away with it, rarely ever do. On top of the work table, again, sort of obvious, you can get behind the screen. But, you know, it doesn't really work very often. In with the tools, not a bad idea. Um, if you want a space, stick it in a room next to it. I'd say put it here, right behind these sort of like mannequins, and sort of see in. But that's about it for drone spots. Defensive-wise, I'd say definitely put someone in here, just to cover these two windows. And it stops you having to reinforce these walls here. You just reinforce the rest of them. Well, here, you can band it as, as you see fit. Castle doors if you can. And then defensive placement. Obviously, castle window, this is a must. Then you've got a good coverage of the door and to the right. Behind here, as long as all of this is reinforced, another good point, because you've, you've got a sweep of this door here and the window if need be. And my final spot is just here. You want to lie down, though, so close to the wall as you can get, and then peek it, because otherwise they'll start shooting your feet underneath. Attack-wise, fairly simple again, I'd say, for attacking. If you can get somebody to take this room, I'd say use this window here as a breach on the east side. Breach in, take out whoever's here, because normally there is. Uh, have a simultaneous breach on this wall with a thermite. And if you can, place a breach in charge here. If not, I'd say definitely place thermite here. Get into them, run round. Place the thermite just here. And then once you detonate the first one, place the second one, detonate that one. And again, you've got good angles of fire. And you can hide behind this actually shoot into the room from there so obviously you're fairly well covered so that does it for this guys obviously again as i said in the last video this is just a basic overview of some of the ways you can attack and defend and places you can place your drones i'm not going into too much depth because that would just take forever and those videos would be hugely hugely long but hopefully you found it useful hopefully you found something good out of this video if you have hit that like button subscribe for more map videos coming soon and i'll see you in the next one